In this topic, we are going to learn about distance time and speed time graphs. Let us start by learning how to convert from a speed time to distance time graph. In this above diagram, we have a speed time graph and we are to draw a distance time graph based on it. First, we need to find the different shapes between these different intervals and we will need to find the distance at t equals to 3, t equals to 7, and t equals to 10. We'll start off by looking at the first 3 seconds here. Under a speed time graph, this line here represents a constant acceleration. And therefore, the distance here will be increasing uniformly but at an increasing rate. That means the distance will increase faster and faster, and we'll have a concave looking curve here that looks like this. You'll notice that as time increases, the slope of this curve here is increasing. And we know the slope of a distance time graph is speed. Therefore, when speed is increasing, we will have a concave looking slope like this. Now, for the next 4 seconds here, we have a constant speed. And this means that the distance is increasing proportionally as time increases. Therefore, we will have an upward sloping straight line. Next, we have a constant deceleration here, whereby the distance is increasing uniformly but at a decreasing rate. Now, whenever there's speed, distance will increase, and therefore we will have a convex looking curve here that looks like this. Once again, you notice that as time increases, the slope is getting smaller and smaller, and the slope under a distance time graph is the speed. And therefore, the speed is decreasing over time. When speed is decreasing over time, we will have a convex looking curve like this. Next, we will need to find the distances. We know that distance is the area under a speed time graph. And therefore, we will need to find the respective areas. As t equals to 3 here, the area will be the area A. And we will have half times 3 times the perpendicular height, which is 10, to give us area A equals to 15. And therefore, the distance is 15 meters. Next, at T equals to 7 here, we will have the distance to be the area A plus area B. Since area A is 15, we need to plus area B, which is a rectangle, and we will have 4 times 10 plus 15 here and this will give us 55 meters when t equals to 7. For t equals to 10, we will need to find the area of this whole trapezium here or we can find the area of a plus b plus c. Since area of a plus b is 55, we will need to find the area of c which is a triangle half times 3 times the perpendicular height 10. Adding up all these 3 areas will give us 70. And therefore, as t equals to 10, the distance is 70 meters. Next, let us look at how to convert from a distance time graph to a speed time graph. In this example here, we have a distance time graph with an upward sloping line, followed by a horizontal line, and then followed by a concave line that's sloping upwards. And we are asked to draw a speed time graph based on the given distance time graph here. We are also given an additional information that the speed increases uniformly between t equals to 9 to t equals to 12. And as t equals to 12, the speed is 6 meter per second. Now for the first 4 seconds under the distance time graph, we have a upward sloping straight line. This means that the object is traveling at constant speed. For constant speed, we know that it is a horizontal line. And let us find out what is this speed here. The formula given for speed is equal to distance divided by time and we will have 10 divided by 4, which will give us 2.5 meter per second here. Next, we know that the object is stationary as there is no change in distance. And therefore, if the object is stationary, the speed is 0 and we'll have this vertical line followed by a horizontal line. Finally, let us look at the last 3 seconds here. 
we were told that the speed increases uniformly and that the speed is 6 meter per second at t equals to 12. And therefore, at t equals to 12, we will have 6 meters per second here. So how would the graph look like at the last 3 seconds for the speed time graph? Since the speed is increasing uniformly, therefore, we have a upward sloping straight line. And the speed is 6 meters per second as given here. And that's all for this topic.